Our desire is that the benefits of yoga and a more conscious diet be a powerful tool of self-transformation in your hands. Start today your inner journey together with Sadhguru through a method totally online. Click the link in the description of this video and learn more. When will you learn how to handle my thought, how to handle my emotion, how to handle my body, how to handle my chemistry? When are you going to figure this? At the end of your life? Because this culture has grown, when to do spirituality means when you're seventy, when you're no good for anything else. No, at the earliest possible time, whatever is most profound about you, not about heavens, about this life, everything that you need to know, you must know soonest, isn't it? My whole thing is, I'm constantly reminding people, there is only one enemy in your life, that's you. If you fix this one person, everything is fine with you. Yes or no? You have only one enemy, that's yourself. If you fix this one person, this is a wonderful life. So this is the beauty of your life, that this moment you can be whichever way you want to be. Now this freedom is what humanity is struggling with right now. If you are suffering your bondage, it's all right, but you are actually suffering your freedom. If your life was as fixed as any other creature's life, you would not experience any stress, you would go through it effortlessly. Now your problem is, there is freedom to be whichever way you want to be the next moment. This is what you're struggling with. If you're suffering your bondage, it's all right. If you're suffering your freedom, that's a tragedy, isn't it? Your life is not a tragedy because this happened or that happened. Your life is a tragedy because everything is happening and you're missing it. Yes? This did not happen, that did not happen, that's not a tragedy. Sun came up in the morning, but you cannot experience it. You're breathing, you cannot experience that. You're alive, you cannot enjoy that. This is a tragedy, isn't it? Yes or no? What happened, what did not happen is not the point. The most significant aspect of your life is that you're alive right now. Is that so? Everything else is secondary and incidental, is that so? Yes, but you are not aware of your aliveness, you are busy with your psychological nonsense. Your thoughts, your emotions have become… your psychological reality has become far more important than your existential reality. What it means is, you are so enamored with your own petty creation that you are completely missing the grandeur of creator's creation, that's what it means. You do all kinds of things, but if you truly value creation, the best thing that you can do is to pay attention and to experience it, isn't it? Yes or no? What is the greatest tribute? Suppose somebody cooks some nice food, and presented it in front of you, what is the greatest tribute? That you write a poetry on it or you joyfully eat it, which is better? Somebody has done a work of art, you ignore it and give him an award. Is that great or you truly appreciate and enjoy it, is that great? If you truly value the creator and the creation, the best thing is that you lived blissfully. That is the best appreciation for the creator. One more year gone, are you still alive? And what are you alive to? What are you dead to? When was the last time you saw a full moon or a sunrise? When was the last time you gazed at a mountain or the ocean? Or you looked at a butterfly fly? When was the last time you saw a flower blossom or kicked a ball? When was the last time you smiled at yourself? When was the last time you looked back and could laugh at yourself? Come alive. Your role in the existence is so small. Everything that happens to you largely is being done to you. Are you spinning the planet? No. 
Could you live if it di did not spin? Could you live? No. Are right now it's me versus the universe. This is just your psychological condition, this is not the reality. Even when you feel utterly lonely, are you still breathing? So you're transacting with the world, isn't it? Yes? You only can't get along with the people around you, but atmosphere is okay with you, food is okay if it tastes good, water is okay. You have transaction with the world, isn't it? Your existence is constantly an engagement with the universe, but your mind becomes against the universe. If you create a psychological condition that you're against or you're in competition with the universe or the cosmos, obviously you will feel crushed for small things. Little things will crush you. When I say little things, maybe you failed your examination, maybe you got thrown out of this university, maybe you got fired from a job, maybe somebody ditched you, maybe something else like this happened. These are all small things between life and death. Because you came here with nothing, isn't it? When you die, there is no container service for you. You die with nothing. In spite of that, most people have turned their homes into warehouses. Most people are carrying such a huge baggage on their head, as if they are carrying the whole universe on their head. This is their own psychological condition. Your thought and emotion is what you're talking about, right? When are you going to figure out how to handle your thought and emotion? Not hers, not hers, not his, yours. When are you going to learn how to handle my thought and my emotion at the end of your life? The only problem really with life is just this. Most human beings have taken themselves too seriously. They don't understand You've seen on the computer screen these pop-ups? Yes. You are a pop-up on this planet. You pop up for two seconds and pop out. No, no, you must see, countless number of people like you and me have walked this planet. They were also big people. Where are they? All? Topsoil? Topsoil or no? Or maybe you're planning to go to heaven. Hello? Anybody who talks about a place other than this place, as a better place than this, this is a crime against humanity. My fundamental work is to destroy all heavens so that people will learn to live well here. All these idiots who made a hell out of themselves, they want to go to heaven. They made a mess out of this place and then they want to go to heaven. I am asking you, do you have any proof? Do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and messing it up? Do you have any proof? You are already in heaven, making a mess out of it, yes? Simply because you are not even learning how to handle your basic faculties of thought and emotion, isn't it? Your only justification is, everybody is like this only. That's how it is in a madhouse. That is how it is in a madhouse, only a doctor looks crazy. <laughs> so when are you going to handle it? Slowly, at the age of sixty, I'm asking.